Yes, Rick. Anything new on the burglaries and robberies that occurred several months ago? Has that stopped? Uh, we've had one burglary in the last three months, I think, uh, which is, which is Where? really, really good. good. I think it was 5 10. But was, I guess it was maybe about six or eight months ago. I mean, we had a rash. We were, we were having sometimes two or three burglaries a day. Uh, it, we really haven't had significant over the last five or six months. You know what's ironic? I do the wire from 510 to 580. That's yes. under the thousands of apartments. I bet you there's 20 to 25 apartments always unlocked and the door ajar every two weeks that I do the wire in those buildings for whatever reason. I don't know. I just put the paper in the line. But, but I can tell you, if you your paper and your door's open, Sometimes I find keys and I stop it. Yeah. But this is this is at least ten or fifteen every two weeks on Friday when I deliver the papers. And what are you, are, you you attrib are you attributing it to people just forgetting to close their doors, or what would you, if you? I, I think I, I think it might be uh, to get fresher air because it uh, it'll be air coming like cross ventilation. Cross -ventilation. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know because I've never asked. It's just something I thought. But when I see a, 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 a dog, a, a, what you call it? A jar. A door, you know, a, a door, a jar. And I usually knock and say, your door is open, and just keep on going by. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if it's open, then I'm sure they know it's open. Intentionally. Because they have to keep it open. Yeah. But if it's just a jar, I just, hello, your door is open. Did you find on. the culprits of the burglaries? Did, did that ever get settled? Did you find who it was or, or actions? I know that the 114 precinct burglary, um, the brand burglary res response, whatever uh -huh. the acronym stands for, burglary detectives were looking into it. We have a detective assigned. He has been here on a few occasions doing interviews, doing canvases. Still? Uh, following up. Following up. Following so up. I don't, I mean, I could meet with him and, and you know. Yeah, we could get. Uh, yeah, just yes. we give a little more of an update yeah, we on can. that, but we, you know, we've been fortunate. We still find that folks leave the apartment and don't double lock the doors, which is a real, uh, you know, rather than what we're going to do, uh, and, and September is probably a good time, rather than wait for a spate of burglaries, uh, we, we've got some uh, connections and office with the police department for a crime prevention seminar. I think it's, uh, I think it's a good time to do another one. Mm -hmm. Where you're going to have them come and do it to the residents of Roosevelt yes. Valley or your staff? Okay. Yes. By the 114th? The 114 and the, the borough, the patrol borough, they, uh, they, because they, we, they, we would have access to more crime prevention experts. In September, you're saying? Well, I'd like to do it in September. We have to check their availability. There was a, a grand larceny in Manhattan Park maybe a couple of days ago. Really? Do what you, happened? I, I, I mean, I, I was just categorized as a grand larceny. Yes. I mean, do you recall what that was about, what uh, happened? I believe that was a bicycle. Grand Larson. Yeah. These, yeah. these, these, so these bicycles are very yeah. expensive. Uh, From outside or inside the apartment? Uh, yeah. It was, I believe, in the hallway. You know, folks don't have enough room. But I'll, I'll, get, I'll get more details for you. Right. Thanks. Uh, no problem.